we're out here in the boondocks key west we're gonna paint some fish and put it on paper i just got off i just got off the boat so i'm looking rough I got two fish I'm going to do. My fish is sweating. I'm going to need a bigger brush. You're good to go live. <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's Kimber. <laughs> Alright guys, so I just got off the boat. I've been diving and fishing all day, if you can't tell. Looking like a mess. Um, I have two fish that I'm going to do this artwork with. Um, I forget what it's called. It's like uh, gyroku or something? I'm not sure. But it's where you take rice paper or cheesecloth and you press it against the fish well, well, before you paint the fish and you peel it off and you got a beautiful artwork. So, super cool. Gonna test it out. Uh, I did it on a little uh, mangrove snapper a couple days ago, and they didn't come out too shabby. So I'm going to include this in a little giveaway I'm going to be doing for you guys once I hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So it should be really cool. Um, stay tuned. Watch the video to find out what else I will be giving away too at the end of the video. It's kind of moist. I hope it's okay. All right, moist. I'm going to do this. Yeah, because it's like cold and it's kind of defrosting in the heat out here. All right, wow, I sh okay. I should have got a bigger paintbrush. <laughs> so as you saw in the previous videos, I caught this massive mutton down in Key West with Hunter, and I'm going to paint it with this acrylic paint I got from Michaels. I got a paintbrush here, it's kind of small, but it'll get the job done, just might take me a minute. All right, just gonna head and dab paint all over the fish. Uh, sometimes you gotta do it a few times to see, you know, like sometimes you put too much paint, sometimes not enough paint. So we're just gonna experiment here, test it out. I think it's gonna come out really cool. I'm super excited. I like, honestly, top five. Oh, oh. top five. Oh, a bug just hit my face. <laughs> top five things. Oh my god, it hit my face again. It's a fly or something. Ow. <laughs> it's attracted to all the lights on me. No, you're fine. <laughs> it kept hitting my ear, like out of all the places that hit me, my ear. All right, so I dabbed fit. Uh, I dabbed fish. I dabbed paint all over the fish, and I'm just gonna go ahead and brush it on, just like this. Um, and if you can, try to find, you know non-toxic paint you are putting on a fish you're going to fillet and eat. I did catch a red grouper and I really wanted to do the paint with the red grouper however I wanted to cook the grouper whole in soup so I decided not to paint it because you know I just didn't want paint in my soup. But we're flaying this guy so it shouldn't be a big deal. This is gonna be so cool. I repeat to my towel. I don't know if the stuff washes out. Spines. I put it. Actually, I'll just take some from the body. This is gonna be so cool. I am a sucker for fish art. Like, literally, like honestly, one of my goals is when I buy my house is pretty much everything is just gonna be decked out in fish mounts, fish art, everything fish. That's just because that's what I love. Got to get his little nose, his eyeball. Alright, so what I personally like to do is, um, I, but right before I press the uh, rice paper or cheesecloth onto the fish, I'll take the brush and brush against the scales. I don't know why, it just seems like a good idea to do. So that's what I'm going to do. Because when you brush against the scales, it kind of lifts them up a little bit, so I think it's going to give it a rougher look. Uh, when you go to press the cloth on the fish. 
All right, let's go, let's try this. So first attempt I'm going to do with the rice paper. I already cut it out here to fit the mutton. Uh, it's just like a paper, just like this. This is the rice paper. And this is the cheesecloth. It's a lot thinner and a lot more just like a cloth. So let's do the paper first. All right. What I'm gonna do actually, because <clears throat> when I experimented with the snapper, I pressed the paper on the fish where I painted it and I got a lot of paint like, you know, on the, on the frames of the fish. So I'm gonna try to move the fish a little bit. That way I don't get that excess paint on the, um, the frame of the fish. Can you come uh, just move the towel real quick? Just to a fresh piece so I don't have the paint on it. I just fold it down, yeah. Oh no, just, just fold it, just, you know. Yep, and bring it back, perfect. Yep. Thank you. You want the crease in it? That's fine. <clears throat> Let me get a picture of this real quick. This looks good. Uh, this is like, this is a lot of pressure. I feel like I messed up. <gasps> the tail is not on the edge. That's alright. This is just the first one. It's like, it's easy, but it's tricky too. You just, you can't be like, it's almost like you can't be a perfectionist when you do this because like, it, I feel like it's almost impossible to get it absolutely perfect. Oh, it's looking sick though. Wow. I gotta take another picture of this. This looks freaking cool. I feel like I didn't put enough paint on the tail. Alright, I'm peeling it up. Oh, I don't know. oh, it looks cool though. I mean, the face isn't like that great, but it looks sick. Wait, I can't see it. I want to see it this way. Oh my gosh, it still looks cool. I think I could have done a better job on like the bottom jaw, like the bottom of the head, but oh wow. I'm so happy with this though. This is gonna be cool. Alright, I'm so excited. <laughs> that came out really cool. Alright, cool. Oh, Alright, the pressure is lifted off my shoulders because it came out it came out pretty cool. Alright guys, so this is the second fish I'm doing. It's a blue wait, blue line tile fish? Or gray tile fish? Blue line tile fish, I think it's called. Caught this sucker in let's see 600 and something feet of water um, on a, an electric reel I caught him along with another one like this a golden tile and a big amberjack oh and a bunch of uh, yellow eye snapper and a vermilion snapper so successful day fishing anyways I'm gonna go ahead and do him uh, same thing this one's gonna be interesting because the tile fish have such tiny, tiny, tiny little scales, and the mutton had big scales, so I'm interested to see how it's gonna lay out um, on the paper. Hopefully, I'm gonna try not to mush it too much so I still get the definition of the scales, but uh, I guess we'll just have to find out. I feel like I wanna do this every fish I catch now. Thank you for your sacrifice, little tile fish. And his little, his little dorsal fin is staying up too. I like it, I like it. The mutton's just kind of pushing down. And also guys, if you wanted more of a colorful artwork done, you could go ahead and do the, just the black or the brown uh, base coat on the fish and get your outline. And then you can, after it dries, take watercolors and you can watercolor the fish in. I'm not gonna do that now just because this is my first time doing it. I think in the future I might uh, experiment a little more with that. Um, and kind of like really uh, professionalize it. 
pretty much get it down and then I, I might make a video on it, but I like simple, you know, simple, one color silhouette, perfect. All right, moment of truth. Oh, I think he's gonna be cool. I have a feeling. Come on. This is gonna be sick. I wish I could have done the golden tile, but that thing was just so blown up from being pulled up 600 feet that it was <laughs> I was kind of looking a little discombobulated. baby up. Oh, how cute. I love it. Wow. It looks like it's pregnant. <laughs> it's got a belly on it. <laughs> that is so cool. So this is the blue lined, you know, I gotta make sure I'm saying this fish right. Hold up. I think it's blue line tile fish. I'm new to deep dropping and like deep cold water fish. Blue lined tile because I've been calling it blue line tile fish the whole video yes blue line tile fish that was right okay guys so here's the announcement I'm gonna make once I hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube which right now as I'm making this video I am 20 more away um, hoping maybe by the end of July I'll hit 1k but you know you never know it's YouTube you never know what's gonna happen um, so once I hit 1k subscribers on YouTube, I am going to do a huge giveaway. I'm going to pick two winners, a female winner and a male winner, and I'm going to give out two $250 gift cards to Salt Life, a $100 promo code to Oceanic Gear, uh, which is a lot of the gear that I wear fishing. Like for example, this shirt's Oceanic Gear. Uh, they make women's and men's apparel, performance shirts, shorts, bikinis. Uh, board shorts, hats, buffs, everything you need for fishing. Um, and then Salt Life, as you guys know, it's a pretty popular brand. Uh, it's lifestyle. Shirts, hats, uh, bikinis, bathing suit cover-ups, male, female styles, they got all the good stuff. Um, and then along with a fish print for each of the winners as well. Alright guys, so all you gotta do to enter this giveaway is comment on this video below. I will be picking winners once I hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So once I hit 1k, I'm gonna go through all the comments and I'm gonna pick a winner. So one, where did I catch my elephant tuna? Two, what do I do for a living other than YouTube? And three, why do you guys watch this channel? What do you like about this channel? and what content do you guys want to see in the future from me? So just answer those three questions and I'll pick a winner once I hit 100K. And I'm gonna be giving away this piece, this beautiful mutton snapper here. It's hot. It is freaking hot in here. It's getting hot. I am running on like four hours of sleep. I've been hustling all day, diving, fishing. Whew, all right. And I'm also giving away two $250 gift cards to Salt Life and two $100 promo codes to Oceanic Gear. Oceanic Gear is the fishing apparel I do wear in most of my shows. Um, if they have men's, they have women's sections for both. Hats, buffs, um, their performance shirts are great. I love them, I wear them all the time. Shorts, everything you got. And if you guys don't win, I do have a promo code for Oceanic as well. It is Island Key. I'll put it in the description below and I believe it's 15% off. Um, so, you know, if you don't win, go check it out. I do have a discount code as well. Um, so I, I, I'm so excited to be giving this, I'm so excited. I'm super excited to be doing this giveaway because I really, really been wanting to give back to my subscribers and I'm already giving, about, giving out free stickers um, on my Instagram. I just got my logo on stickers. I'm mailing them out to the first 50 people that messaged me. Um, I did that probably about last week and um, I've been wanting to do something on YouTube and I figured what better than 100k subscribers because that's a big milestone for a lot of people on YouTube and in the social media world, you know? And 
none of it is possible. I cannot be doing any of this without you guys. Um, so it's super important for me to be giving back as well. So I'm super excited to do this giveaway. Comment below, enter, and I wish everybody luck. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. shower now damn i hope we got that did you get that i smell like rotting fish yes you do oh my goodness you stink Woo! you stink more than those guys stink but they come back fishing i'm just kidding you it's because i look at how you know my palm it's kind of cool that little palm tree right there in the plate all right now we gotta flay some more fish what? The night is not over. It is one o'clock in the morning. <laughs>